Dante Wright shooting was result of mistaking gun for taser. That is our topic report for today. Now, we covered this story yesterday, and what I said yesterday was just too soon. Don't know anything. Don't know what's going on. Don't know who who did who who's a what's it, what's a who's it. I still haven't learned, and it may be out there. I may not have gotten the information, but I still haven't learned even what the arrest warrant was for uh, Dante Wright but this is this is how we're covering it today this is from the Minneapolis Star Tribune chief officer meant to use taser not firearm on Dante Williams the traffic stop that would end Dante Wright's life played out on a Brooklyn Center police officer's body camera officers appeared to try to handcuff him so we got a little bit of an excerpt here. The Minneapolis Board Bureau of Criminal Apprehension identified the officer as Kelly A. Potter, 48, who has been a police officer for 26 years. She has been put on leave. Now, I should note that that'll be paid leave. This is, well, Liz Navar... Well, it took three people to write this one. Liz Navaratil, Stefan Multimayer, and Andy Menix. And then... The ex excerpt here. The traffic stop that would end Dante Wright's life played out on a Brooklyn Center police officer's body camera. Officers appeared to try to handcuff him. Then he slipped back into the driver's seat. A female officer yelled, Taser, Taser, and then fired her gun. Holy shit, I just shot him. Sorry for the language there. Once again, a black man died during a police encounter. In an instant, the world's focus on Minnesota shifted from the trial of Derek Chauvin to a new outrage that brought street protests, promises of reform, and anguish over a relentless pattern, relentless pattern of deadly police misconduct. Well, the three people that wrote this definitely want to contribute to the outrage. They're not looking to, in any way, shape, or form, try to calm the situation. They're 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 all about inflaming audiences. It seems this is this is Mara type language. If you know Mara, is Mara is the rabble rouser of the French Revolution that really enabled in in many ways enabled exactly well the, the, the terror that that would come from Robespierre and and others Robespierre and Danton and I believe both of them ended up getting I know Robespierre did I think Danton did as well maybe Danton went before Robespierre Dante, Dante I don't know I, I've heard this pronounced uh, before uh, Duante and Dante, so I'm not sure how he pronounced it. Dante Wright shooting. Officer mistook gun for taser. The fatal shooting of Dante Wright was accidental, police say, as crowds defy a curfew. Then we have this headline from WCLU. Games involving Minnesota pro sports teams in MLB, the NBA, and NHL that were scheduled for Monday have been postponed in response to the fatal shooting. This is just the virtue signaling of the sports leagues that are Going to put everything on hold because of this. And I tell you, I, I still need more information to make a final decision. But I would say that uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to say I didn't. I didn't. I mean, I saw the video, but I don't know what to make of it. But I am I am inclined to believe that this is, dare I say it, race motivated, that this individual would not have received the treatment that he did. I know he went for the back seat, and there's a lot of fear there. And I, I don't know. I don't know that the color of his skin added to that fear or not. So I, I don't want to say that for sure, but I'm inclined to believe that this is, if anybody's going to be enraged, maybe maybe this is a legitimate reason to be enraged. So I know that I, I critique these three people for writing the way they did, but they're writing in ways that, they're 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 saying a relentless pattern of deadly police misconduct. That's not true. A overwhelming majority, ninety nine percent of police encounters with everybody ends up without. And I'm no advocate. I'm not a. I'm gonna say I don't have a thin blue line flag in my home. But this idea of a relentless pattern of deadly police misconduct is hyperbole, and it's hyperbole with a purpose intended to inflame people. Because these folks that wrote this, I think, are pretty clear that they have an agenda. And it's not its not peace. It's not justice. And, and what the social justice folks are offering you is not peace, justice. It's war. Unmitigated war. It's, it's we will meet injustice with injustice. 
Well, I'm going to stop this one because, well, you keep watching this YouTube channel because I have another segment coming up on this. <laughs>